41.9 seconds is the time to beat for the opening lap. This guy is a great footballer and he's a pretty nippy bike rider as well. Dixon now set the fastest time for shift. 41.9 seconds. 125.38 seconds. The third fastest time. 127.81 from the FT. The brain is the central nerve system that controls your body. All your movements, your legs, your arms, your way of thinking, the way you manifest yourself. So that's, that's the central system of your body. And from a central nerve system, yeah, you have control over your body. If I just move my hands, I don't have to think of moving, my, it's automatically there. For a Parkinson patient, that's different. You'll be able to see the different go uh, on the town. So they're now getting themselves ready again. IG. Of course, they can use uh, an outside bike, but they are not able to stop because then will, they will drop off. If you see a Parkinson patient walking, they need support by one or two people. But uh, uh, as a miracle, once they sit on a bike, they easily bike forward. We try to, to um, um, uh, focus on what actually was the winning factor. And we found out that it was the engagement of being in the game, being motivated, even a little uh, uh, muscle uh, 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 strength was gained. So they were, uh, and also, um, the, the endurance was also uh, uh, an interesting factor. And uh, they were much more motivated to do the next session than the others, because that was a kind of boring, you know, not, not too exciting. So, and this is uh, also interesting for uh, the treatment of the patient for the long term. It won't happen by just putting machines there. What we need is endorsement from the national health societies, insurers, uh, pharmacists, and I can tell you in Holland we have that support. 